Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's jump into the charts. <laughs> What's going on? Alex O Crypto here. Here for the farm payrolls and the unemployment rate. Do we have jobs? Well, we know in Canada, some of us have to refer to day trading because we have to create our own jobs. So we'll have to find out what's going on. Hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday, guys. Happy, happy Fridays. We're looking at the Bitcoin price. We're looking at the statistics about to come in on the trading economics. We will see. We are loading. We are loading. We got less than four seconds. Let's see if we come in positive. If we get some volatility today. Here we go. Here's the shot up. Wow, we got some things coming in here. Totally blocking the screen. Who cares? Whatever. We're getting a pump. We're getting a pump. Wow. All right. We're getting a little bit of a pump ski here. Beautiful, beautiful pump ski. Coming right up into our area looking to trade. Let's see if we do get dumped back down. Let's see if we do. Let's see if we do. Okay. Okay. We are coming up into the point of control here. Up into the point of control. Flying all over the place. <laughs> Let's see what goes on with this trade setup we gave in advance in the Discord. Join us in the free Discord. Much love to every single one of you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Hope you're having a wonderful day, Mark. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to all you absolute legends out there. Looks like we're getting some volatility, a little bit of a rejection. A rejection from the point of control. Now, the um, unemployment, there's more people unemployed. That's good. They want, they want people losing their jobs for some reason. Don't ask me why, okay? Okay, don't ask me why. They just want people losing their jobs. Um, we've gotten a dump overnight, right? We've gotten a dump overnight. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on with this. We also have non-farm payrolls. Um, coming in hot, okay, forecasted at 190, came in at 297, which is quite extreme, okay, that's quite extreme, look at the charts here, coming in at 290, what does that mean, um, oops, let's go around farm payrolls here, coming in, at, added 150k jobs, wow, wow, okay, that's really good, that's really good, so this is a positive sign, this is a positive sign. However, however, we have been getting a dump on Bitcoin. We have. So. One hundred and fifty K. Sorry, I was wrong. I was wrong here. One hundred and fifty K. So we came under forecast. OK, we came under forecast and we came above here on unemployment rate. So. Unemployment rate, they wanted it to be high. They forecasted 3.8. It came at 3.9. That is good news. However, um, non-farm payrolls, they wanted it at 190, and we only got to 150, okay? We only got to 150. So we can see it's quite a dramatic drop, right? Quite a dramatic drop. Um, below market forecast of 180K, this report showed... The labor market is slowly cooling while several strikes, including the members of the United Auto Workers, okay, those auto workers, United Auto Workers, Wade, job gains occurred in healthcare, government, of course, because the government, you know, they just print jobs. They just print jobs make to make it all look good. You got to make it look good, right? Got to make it look good. Look at this trade setup given in advance. Okay, guys, we're doing all right, aren't we? We're doing all right. I'll take that this morning. I'll take that this morning. That for me is enough for me. Happy Friday to every single one of you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We can talk about how we had this trade set up in advance. So you guys can take trades like this too. Okay. So you guys can take trades like this too. Where we can wait for price to come to us. Wait for price to come to us. And we can manage to take some beautiful profits along the way, okay? Okay, my friends. 
Make sure to always pay yourself on things like this if you are trading them. Let's shout out to the chat. Good morning, French Toaster. What's going on? Alex, so good Bruins versus Leaf game last night. Was was at the game. No, man. You were not at the game. You were not at the game, man. Went to overtime, man. That was awesome. That was quite awesome. Quite an awesome game, man. Um, I was watching it definitely. I um, wish my Leafs played a little bit better, but, you know, we did all right. We did all right. I mean, Bruins are a tough team. Bruins are a very tough team. So we're getting some volatility here. Let's see which way it decides to go. We've obviously we've gotten a major dump overnight. A major dump overnight. So we're 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 expecting this to continue downwards. We got some liquidity below us. Awesome game last night. Nunya, Nunya here with the wrench. Nunya, I haven't seen Nunya in a while. Hope you're doing well. Nunya, um, hope you're having a great day. Okay, so the trade setup was given in advance. In the free Discord. So join us in the free Discord. Much love to every single one of you gangster otters out there. Um, point of control. Simple point of control. Coming down. All that good stuff. So we came in positive yet negative. Okay, so the jobs are, are po positive because we're losing jobs. Because um, unemployment rate is up. But also but also but also non farm payrolls is in and not good not good nick as the Mrs. Otter would say. So mixed mixed signals. Are y'all talking about quidditch? <laughs> no one likes a quitter. No one likes a quitter. So I'm thinking about exiting this trade right now. I am in this trade, if if you're curious to see. I can show you here. I can show you here. We caught the wick, but I I'm thinking I'll just get out. Pay myself for a nice Friday. Whew. Can you take me higher? Are we getting out, guys? Are we getting out? Or are we going to let it drop? Are we going to let it drop? I think we get out. What do you guys think? And we're out in profits. Okay. So that's good. That is good. Thank you. Come again. Mr. Market Maker, happy days, happy days, happy days. Okay, so we've made we've made our money for the day. So let's just relax. Let's hang out with you guys, because guess what? We've done it. We've done it. How did we do it? We just came to the charts. We we drew some lines, and we managed to take profits today. Okay, trade setups given in advance, all that good stuff. So guess what? It can dump from here. It can do whatever it wants. It can do whatever it wants. Because we caught the trade today, okay? The trade's done. So, well, how did we get into this? How did we get into this? Mr. Alex O. Crypto. Sam Bankman Freed, you know, he's getting the max, which is good. Which is good. <laughs> smash that like button if you're happy that um, people are going to um, smash SBF in jail, if you know what I mean. Um <laughs> oh lordy lord poor sbf man this guy's gotten years and years and years and years and years so we had this trade set up in advance given in the discord point of control key level yes we are in a downtrend so you got the point of control here and you have some key levels of support and resistance throughout where we're looking for price to have a reaction okay have a reaction and guess what it popped up perfectly with the bullish news and guess what? We got in, we got out, and we made the profits. Okay, so SBF, what's going on with this guy? Let's talk to, let's talk, let's allow these guys to tell us what's going on. No, I do not want your shit. Sam Bankman Freed found guilty on all charges, faces up to 110 years in prison. Sam Bankman Freed, fried. Sam Bankman is going to be fried. Um, founder of the, you know, FTX. I'm sure you guys are aware. 110 years. Give him 120, just for fun. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Count one, two, and three. I heard he has some pretty pathetic um defense for himself. So, um, I mean, how do you defend frauding the world? You know, he frauded Tom Brady for Christ's sakes. <laughs> like an American hero. You f you frauded an American hero, Tom Brady, and now, <laughs> oh man, one hundred fifty-five 
million worth of ETH. So what, what does this mean for the markets, my friends? What does this mean for this market? Does this mean that we're going to dump from here? Because right now we're pumping. We caught the trade and we got out, which we're very happy about, okay, by the way. Which we're very happy about. However, we are pumping now, okay? We have some key levels of resistance, resistance that we can be prepared for. So make sure to add these levels. Okay, make sure to join us in the free Discord. So let's let's go through it all. Let's go through it all. How do we set this up? So this morning, I came to the charts. I realized that we had dumped, okay? I realized that we had dumped. We were looking for, we gave the long setup yesterday here, okay? From here up to here in the Discord, okay? It was actually like legit to, to the WIC here, to the VWAP WIC. It was given in advance. If you don't believe me, then I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, right here. Okay? There it is. Magic. Okay? I said, scary price, good luck, have fun. Okay? This is just, I'm just sharing what I'm thinking. I'm not saying take the trade. you got to wait for your com your confluence. Okay? But the confluence, it came down here. Whew, it wicked a bit. And then it popped back up exactly to where I was saying. Okay? So, magic trades, magic internet money. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? And that was here. With this trend line. Okay? Whoop, whoop. Trend line. Trend line. Okay? You see the trend line? Came down. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. All the way back up. Okay? Very nice trade setup. Okay? We did not short this coming down here. But as you can see, we are in a nice downtrend. Okay? We are in a nice downtrend, my friends. Nice downtrend. So what do we look for? We look for a continuation of the downtrend. We have levels below us that we're looking for longs. Okay? Um, this is a 786 and a value area low of the range. Um, so we're looking for price to come down to around this area. If not, we look for look for the grab of these wicks down here. So we have a couple ideas. What else do we have? We went into the short term time frame where we built confluence. So we had a point of control. That's how we took this trade this morning. Um, there it is. Given an advance, 34,490. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, okay? Finito. Um, you could have wrote it down, but you know what? I wasn't looking to hold it too long. So it came up to this beautiful level, and it dropped it like it was hot. Nice wick up, grabbed it, and down we went. Okay, so you can exit depending on your risk management and your strategy. If you want to pay yourself early and just get in and out like I did this morning, you can. Okay, you can. Good morning, Jeet Corp. What's going on? Good morning, Jeet Corp. What's going on? More mods than other subscribers. That's the way. That's the way, man. That's the way. Because we build a great community here, we'll be doing all right. Okay? We'll be doing all right. Great people here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe you can be one of the mods here one day. But very good people here. Very trustworthy people. Very honest people. That's all we want here. Honest, kind, loving people. We're not here to shill you anything. We're not here to sell you anything. We're just here to help. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, all these people selling you crap, man. All these people selling you crap. We can teach you how to trade here. No problem. Ask any question in the Discord. We'd be happy to help you because that's what it's about. It's helping others, right? I don't need your money. I'm a profitable trader. That's where it's at. Okay? What's going on, DDT? What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. So, yes, we took this short this morning. We got out. We did it on the live. Happy days, as Mr. Tino would say, okay? Came up to the point of control, getting rejected, continuing on this downtrend. If you caught a short from up here, that would have been nice, okay? Um, however, lots of people got wrecked yesterday. We were looking at that yesterday. Um, BTC liquidity, liquidations, okay? We were looking at this yesterday. I shared it. Coin glass. All right. Lots of people were getting liquidated going long. Okay. Lots of people. Okay. So very, very, very interesting here. Lots of people getting Selling indicators is the new coin shilling. That's it, man. It's like, come on, man. I use Market Cipher, but like I'm not here saying, oh, click my link and join me on. I like Market Cipher, and that's it. Okay, I found a tool. I use it. If you want to use it, go right ahead. 
use Frankie Candles link. I don't give a shit. Um, however, however, we can build confluence. And you know what? Um, if if it's not even better, okay. And I, I'll shill. I'll shill. Where is it? Friends, friends channels. I will shill Schaefer's free, free, not MCB public copy over here in our friends channel. Okay, this is free. Does the same freaking job, okay? Here you go. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. This is, oh, Black Friday sale, mate. Here, take this one. All right? All right? Go and use this one. Works just as good. Okay? I'm not here to show you anything. <laughs> oh, so the Ben drama. Let's talk about the Ben drama, okay? Let's talk about the Ben drama. Hating on Mr. Frankie Candles. Just wanted to say publicly state for my followers on Twitter that Frankie Candles has made it very clear to me that he's on the network side. <laughs> I said many nice things as I could. <laughs> Come on, man. This guy needs clicks like he needs a friggin' back shave or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got Schaefer's Black Friday sale right here, bro. Right here, man. Okay, so this guy's hating on Frank, man. This guy needs this guy needs more, you know. This guy needs help. I mean, I pray for I pray for people like this because you don't know what they're going through. I mean, I don't even want to go there, you know what I mean? It's not good to say bad about anybody, so I hope he finds his way. Let's put it that way. I hope he finds his way in a nice, peaceful, kind, and loving way. As, as nice as I can be, man. I mean, don't need to bash anybody. People are people. They do what they do, right? They're not here to to hurt you. They just do not know what they do sometimes. <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself, guys. Uh, so <laughs> let's on to the news, guys. Very bullish metric shows Bitcoin, XRP, Ether, Solana, Cardano, Shiba, Inu, except for explosive prices. Okay, so we get a dump, and then so this is a thing we get a dump, and then this article comes out, which is actually kind of good because it's like you, you, you didn't at least you didn't post this article when we're at 35k. Okay, at least you're, you're helping people get in, but um. Return to normalcy, um, right? And it says right here, bearish sentiment rising among traders once again. Increased likelihood of continued crypto, crypto price rises. Okay, so lots of bullish news coming out. A lot of bullish adoption. Lots of bullish. I saw an interview with Michael Saylor yesterday. You know, he's just laughing at everybody. He's like, you should have bought Bitcoin, right? Um, so lots and lots of bullish news, guys. What does this mean? It, needs, need, it tells me to be very, very careful that we could be getting a dump, right? That we could be getting a dump. That's what it tells me. I don't know what it tells you, but it tells me we could be getting a dump. So we need to be very cautious here, okay? It tells me we could be getting a dump. So we're going to do the price down analysis like we do every morning, setting you guys up for success. First, I will show you my trade setups, okay? We took the trade this morning from the point of control. Okay, at 34,490. I would like to see a continuation of this downtrend here. Maybe we do get rejected from this area, but I took this trade, got out because of non farm payrolls. Okay, because of the volatility, it's very uncertain of which direction we can go. So I, I didn't degem because I had a plan. However, I didn't stay in the trade due to it coming back up and possibly going elsewhere, right? So I protected myself, I paid myself early, and I'm out of the trade, okay? However, we can look for this trade yet again with some confirmations. Maybe right now, if we go into the short-term time frame, we can get some bearish divergence or something like that coming up at our levels. Okay, so we take this off. Um, we know we're, we're right around that area of the point of control. So we'll take the trades off of the table. We will know that we're, we're up here at the point of control. We wicked up from the news, okay? right? But right now... Looks like we're flagging out and pumping up, okay? Um, we do have this massive downtrend that we're looking at. So right now, I'm being patient. I'm going to wait for price to come to me. We have some key levels above us, right? This point of control and also this area around here, around 34.8. Eight. 
So for me, I'm going to be patient right now. We can see we had a little bit of a bottoming here, but it wasn't really significant. This is clearly just news right now. So right now, no trade for me. However, um, what I would like to see is for them to come down to these areas down here. Now, we have had the massive pump up and the trickle down. Um, to me, this looks like some sort of triangle where we can pop up. However, however, I think there are some people still here long that they would like to come down and get if they are to continue upwards, right? We definitely have those trend lines where we're seeing that pop up there. Um, but we do have a 786. If we pull it here, we have a 786 just down below at this value area high here. I'm um, 786 on um, where we could see a swing failure pattern because we know this. Okay, there's lots of there's no price action below here for quite since since monday right since the start of this week we haven't had any price action below this line around thirty four thousand one hundred and fifty. okay so it would be nice to see these guys taken out right if you're the market maker and you've just dumped on people's asses you want to come and get them all you don't want to leave anybody waiting around before you go for another run to the top Okay, so that's kind of the thinking right now, and the weekend's coming, so why don't we trickle sideways? If we trickle completely sideways, that's good for the bulls. If we do have a little bit of a dump ski, you know, that's also good for the bulls. <laughs> so right now, we be patient and we wait, in my opinion, okay? In my opinion. It's not financial advice, obviously. Duh, right? Um, I just take trades. I press buy and sell, and I'm some, some random dude in, in Canada, you know, trying to help you guys be profitable. <laughs> okay so let's go down let's look at the weekly let's go through all the ta today of what we've set up for you guys and it's very clear it's very clear that we have had this push up very beautiful price action right um we'll add the rectangle to the levels keep this all organized for you guys um where we've clearly come above this area here okay very nice to see um, a retest would be nice. We can see that the, the weekly has pushed up very much in the green. Very bullish here. We were bullish here. So it's very nice move up. But we do have quite a nice gap here for volume. Okay, so when we pull this across here, we can see that, you know, nothing really until we get to this 30, you know, 37, 8, 37,800 area. Okay, so that's like where we think we should go. Good morning, Crypto Pollo. Cluck, cluck, motherfuckers. What's going on, my crypto chicken? <laughs> um, Darren Dusting says we should get back to like 34.8 today. I'm waiting for a nice short entry to hold for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking similar stuff. So we naturally we want to come up to this area. We do have a lot of volume up in here, but we did have some market structure in here. So this is okay for us if we do continue sideways. However, the more we go sideways, the more chances to go up, or we just roll over from here, okay? So there's some options. However, we are being very much overbought on the longer-term time frames. Um, so when we flip into the five-day, you can see we're starting to curl, right? Curls for the girls. VWAP's coming down. So you can see this is probably wanting to curl over on the five-day and the four-day. So the four-day, this is the interesting thing, is this candle here, okay? Woo! That is a star candle right that means that we have exhausted to the downside so that's concerning that's concerning <laughs> cluck cluck it that a chicken making a turkey sound <laughs> so this is concerning this wick that we've had recently okay so we need to be aware of that wick john wicks in the house now we're getting a red dot on the three day as we continue here vwap's trying to cross over which it has i think yes so money flow did not get above interesting enough money flow did not get above here and we're getting the red dot on the three day and we still have that enormous wick above us okay um as we flip into the two day confirmed red dot curling over flat but curling over okay so we can see that it's flat and that this is up so that's a divergence in my opinion in the momentum wave going over the daily we're coming higher we're coming lower okay so divergence possibly pushing us down bart pattern okay bart simpson here in the house what's up bart hope you're doing well cool skateboard dude man keeping it cool so um 
Bart pattern, possible correction to the downside. Where we go? Oh, I would first assume halfway of this beautiful, beautiful bullish candle. So we want to watch this for certain, okay? For certain. Um, so we can see money flow is in the green. We did have that double top here. So that's something also to be aware of is that, you know, money flow did shoot. So we... We can expect it to follow the VWAP, which is posturing to the downside on the daily. Um, and we it would be healthy for us to see this huge momentum wave um, cool off. Okay, cool off. Um, and if we do get a little bit of a dump ski, then we will be looking for that there. Okay, so for me right now, I'm leaning a little bit more bearish on the longer term time frames. Over the weekend, kind of chop sideways, but most likely um, to have a, a little bit of a correction downwards, which isn't bad for bitcoin okay which isn't bad for bitcoin let's go over to the 12 hour let's see what we can find so we pull up our levels and we take a look right so we have these key levels where we're looking for a reaction on price i'm going to get rid of this one here because i don't think we're coming all the way back up to here but as you can see on the 12 hour look at this candle man this is a very very bearish candle in my opinion very nice rejection off of these highs and you can see we got very bearish bearish um, candles to the downside as well okay um a lot of momentum here however a big correction okay so with uptrends you can see we very much climb a ladder and then with downtrends we take the fire pole right so um that has occurred however we need to be prepared to the downside okay so it looks like we're bouncing off the point of control this morning which isn't bad at all um which isn't bad at all but if we fail to get above here we will look for a continuation to the downside. What can we see to this area here? So we've pulled volume across. Um, this this level here, around 31.8, is going to be my very key level that I'm looking for. Okay, guys, 31.8. Um, we could also pull like um a fib from the swing from where this move started all the way to the top of this wick here, right? Um, I like to go to where it started, so that would be right around here. And we can see that we do have some some areas where we could bounce. However, if you go all the way down to, let's say, here, um, 0.5 correction from there, golden pocket from here, um, 30, 31.3. So there are different ways you can pull this fib. Um, let's go in the four hour. Maybe we can get a more accurate pull here. Um, so I'm going to go from here. This looks better to me from here than up to here. So there are areas of, of where we're looking for a bounce. If we want to be general of where we're looking for a bounce, it would be around this area here, right? So we come down, we bounce, and we continue upwards. We get the BART pattern, right, where we chop up, we come down, and then we continue on our merry way, okay? Good morning, TM. Hope you're doing well. We're just going over Bitcoin for the weekend, setting ourselves up for the rest of the day. We took a short on the live right when market opened. It was pretty awesome. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Much love to you, brother. Thank you for dropping by. Um, so what's interesting to me on the 12 hours is that we can finally see money flow coming out. Um, and we can see this... Um, kind of divergence okay kind of divergence we can't go i'm not going to go off this wick but i can go off any of these here where we can see we're making a higher high and a lower low off momentum waves okay so the divergence is there for us to possibly retrace from here retrace so we're we're looking for long-term shorts um but we're also we can also trade the range right as if it comes back into this range we know the range we can pull the volume profiles and we can trade it very simply that way. But we're seeing money flow come out of this range. So how are we able to take this trade this morning? Well, we pull the volume across. We get our point of control. We're looking for price to come up with a reaction after such a down move, right? After such a down move, people, it's like when we think about this, the whales are moving down. Everybody wants to jump in um, to a long here, right? Um, all the whales want to do is pump up and dump on our ass, right? Um, so for me, it was like, okay, they're going to push up a little bit here. We're going to get some news. Let's see if it comes out positive and then eventually trickles off. That was my thought this morning. So I prepared. I set my trade and my stop loss early. Um, and then I waited, right? And then price came perfectly up into that area and rejected. But by having a plan, by having an idea of, yes, we're in a downtrend. We're coming down to these areas. Um, we're going to look for a reaction to, to wreck some of the bears. 
um, and then continue its way down, right? We don't just go down in a straight path, a lot steeper than all of this. However, it did just come up, and then now it seems to be getting a rejection, okay? Um, looking at this here, so I'm looking for a bounce possibly from the bottom of this range. So this is another trade setup that we gave in advance, okay? Um, at 33,900-ish area, okay? So around this area here, um, which is the value area low, um, and this red line is a key level of support, and we have a 786 Fibonacci retracement for this entire range right around here. So we haven't come below, like I said earlier, we haven't come below these areas here, um, so I'd like to see all these guys taken out and then possibly back into this range and chop for the rest of the weekend. That's a possibility. If we do lose this level and then we continue to back test and lose the levels, then we could be looking for those lower prices that we just talked about. Okay, so having a plan, having a trade set up, having some ideas, we can come to the chart and execute these ideas, right? Um, with some good risk management, of course, and some healthy mindset where we can protect ourselves um, to getting wrecked and all those things. So I hope that makes sense to everybody here. We're going to take a look at some alts for you guys before we jump off. Make sure to practice good risk management, guys. Um, we got to be careful. You know, I got knocked out of two trades. Um, I got knocked out of two trades in the past couple days, and it wasn't nice, okay? It wasn't nice. Um, I moved my stop loss a couple times, so there's some times where even I make a mistake where I think it's going one way and it doesn't. So we always need to be careful and to practice good risk management, okay? Um, I can be guilty of it too. So let's all work together to work on being better and profitable, okay? If there's any alts you want me to throw in the chat, Show them in the chat. We'll be glad to look at them. Right now, you can see we're clearly in this downtrend moving down. Um, we have broken out of it. So we could be looking for a push up here. We do have some key levels above us. However, I'm very much convinced that we're either going to range or we're heading down. Okay, we're going to range or heading down. But we put in a new kind of level here but we haven't taken out this 34,000 area, okay? 34,000 area. Let's look at the S&P. So the S&P is flying, okay? Um, the S&P is flying. I'll take a look at Matic for you, no problem, TM. So the S&P is flying, which is very, very nice for my um, other portfolio <laughs> because it was taking quite a beating. Um, the NASDAQ is flying, okay? Dixie, it, it's dying right now, okay? So the Dixie is dying. Look at that. We've gotten, a, after the news today, we've gotten a massive dump on the Dixie. Wow. Okay, so this is very interesting. Um, so now that we've gotten the dump and we've put in the lower lows, so we can see this, that we had the initial move down, the flag out, um, and now we're breaking this flag and coming down. Mr. Dixie, this is going to be bullish for the market. So, what do we what do we say with that? We say Bitcoin's going to pump now, right? We say Bitcoin's going to pump now. So we have our key levels of resistance above us that we we can look to short, or we can look for a retrace back and get into a long. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Matic for you guys. I was looking at Matic, and this is actually pretty cool. We can see how well support and resistance actually works um, with Matic. It actually is pretty cool. I am a holder of Matic, so um, take with everything I say as um, I'm biased. I'm biased towards Matic because I like it. Okay, um, but we've come up to this key volume node. Okay, this is a very strong level of resistance. Okay, resistance with Matic, and you can see even after we had the massive move here out of this massive um, dump from before that this area was key levels of support okay so we drag that level to our right and we can see that we are actually above this one key level which is very important to me okay so that we're we're very much above this level around 65 cents which is bullish for me okay look how long we trended sideways here banging our head off of the top of this this level it seems like we have pushed up with some volume up into this area now and we look to continue okay so massive move just like bitcoin flagged out popped up just like 
ADA, and we'll take a look at ADA too. And now we're up here. We do have resistance above us, which we came perfectly up and touched. Okay. However, this looks like another flag coming this way, right, where we can look to continue its way upwards. Okay. So very good move for ADA. Um, but yeah, we want to see it hold this range. Okay. We want to see it hold above 65 cents and then punch through the 68 cents. That's kind of where I'm at with Matic, but it looks a lot more healthy than previous. So you can draw something like that. You can see it's bouncing along here, continuation upwards, okay? Until we get a very clearly defined reversal where we can see, you know, now that we've come up and we get like a double top and then we put in that lower low, right? Then we can look for this retracement to, to short it, if we're looking to short it, okay? Um, However, to me, any pullback to to support and resistance can be a possible opportunity to long stuff like this, okay? So, mad love and respect, Mark Dutch. Thank you so much for coming through and saying hello. Have a wonderful day. Same with you, Dave Digital. Much love to you, my friends. Thank you for coming by, supporting this fresh channel. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers. If you want to... Join us in the free Discord. Everything's for free here. Setting you guys up early in the morning. Profitable traders. Man, we, we took the trade this morning on the live, and we crushed it. A nice 300 bucks profit. So make sure to come out and hang out with us every morning, Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Let's go over to Ada, baby. So same thing with Ada, man. I mean... Massive support and resistance, right? We can see we had this beautiful uptrend, okay? And we popped out of it, and everybody's like, oh, we're just coming back, retesting, we're going to get rejected. And I thought the same, man. I thought the same, where we're going to come up here and then head back down, okay? And however, Maddox is like, nah, hold my beer. And <laughs> it not only flipped this support, but it flipped this support, okay? And we can see that we have come up above this key level of support at 3150 okay 3150 b team crypto what's going on man hope you're doing well you guys are all saying that we're going to 31.8k before we go anywhere else you guys are you guys are bears man you guys are bears i'm a bear too i'm canadian how can i not be a bear man what am i supposed to be a bull we're not in spain I don't know. I don't know. So we can see we're flagging out again. Flagging out again, baby. Let's go. Looking to go to the upside. Looking to go to the upside, okay? We got positive news. We got Dixie dumping on people's asses. Okay, this is this is going to be bullish for the, the S&P this morning when it opens. We got 20 minutes till it opens, so very, very good. Very, very good, okay? Ada, looking fresh AF, okay? Looking fresh AF. Going over the link, let's restore that connection, guys. Let's restore that connection by smashing that like button and hanging out with Alex O'Crypt. Oh, this looks like a, a nice parabola. No. Okay, we're holding link. Link has been extremely bullish, okay? So when we go to link and Solana, we can simply see, man, we have had such a parabolic move. Do you, want, do you need me to go to the daily? We've had such a parabolic move that we are cooling down, okay? Big 17% correction, but I mean, this move has been 50, 60%. So let's let's calm down there, pussycat, okay? Um, where we can see the price moving all the way up quite dramatically, okay? Quite dramatically. And guess what? We have key levels of support and resistance that we can just mark out on our chart and look for it to continue to flip and push its way up, okay? What we don't want to see is like where these boxes are. We don't want to see it lose these levels. We're nowhere near these levels. So for, for now, we look for the continuation to the upside. Okay, to the upside. We can see on the daily, we, we're, due, we're due some cool down, man. We're due some cool down, um, especially on the higher term time frames, just like Bitcoin, right? However, we're getting bullish, bullish farm payrolls and bullish news this morning that we could be looking for more upside this this is a nice cool down like 17 percent. i'd say is a nice cool down so continuation upwards right continuation upwards bouncing off the key level of support at 38 dollars same with link you go over the daily on link 
massive push up, right? Trying to measure. Yeah, 36%, man. 36%. The key thing about link is broken out of this, okay? It's broken out of this. Um, and we have support. We have support around ten eleven dollars. Let's say eleven dollars psychologically. Okay, flagging out. My target for link was twelve fifty. We'll see if we get there. Okay, we didn't get there. My my target was twelve fifty. We didn't get there. Let's see. We're flagging out. We could be popping up, okay? Very, very good move for link. XRP flying off the chain. Okay. Um adoption. I saw something about an adoption for XRP. Ripple, okay, CBDC. Ripple, CBDC, Georgia's Georgia Central Bank Digital Currency, the digital lorry, okay? So, I mean, it's so centralized, right? It's so centralized that, you know, CBDs are coming, my friends. They're coming, and they're going to control your money, so be very, very, very careful. We cannot, to me... It's not safe, man. Don't don't mess with this shit. Cause they they froze the bank accounts in Canada, okay? Of the truckers, they froze their bloody bank accounts. I mean, you can't pay your rent, you can't pay your mortgage, you can't buy groceries. They froze their bank accounts, man. What are you supposed to do? Go and get a cash job? Don't get me started on shit like this, man. So, very very bullish news, but also aggravating news. Okay, XRP moving. It's way up. Massive parabolic trend, right? Massive parabolic trend. So we look, as this momentum continues to the upside, we look for retraces and continuation, right? Retraces and continuation. And until we get the break of this massive uptrend, we don't look, we don't look to fight it, right? Um, unless we're getting up to very, very key levels of resistance, which we possibly are. 63 cents was a key level for me, so... We can see that we are getting up there on XRP. And then we have this major support box here around 57 cents. So as long as we're above 57 cents in this parabolic uptrend, not getting any clear defined downward signs, XRP looks to continue its way upwards and onwards, okay? Even though I'm not a big fan. XRP army. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Y'all hear that Putin pulled Russia from the no nuclear test treaty? What is that? What? He pulled them? What's going on, paper planes? Hope you're doing well, Mr. Bing Bong himself. Paper planes, man. I remember when paper planes won the trading competition in Frankie Candle's Discord. That was that was epic, bro. You had like a I don't even know what percentage it was. What percentage paper planes was that trade? 2,000 or something stupid like that? I can't remember. All I know is that you use that D-Gen leverage. <laughs> My man. <laughs> hey, Wayne C., what's going on, man? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. We're getting a rejection here off the point of control. Wayne C., hope you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully your wife's made you a sandwich. Mrs. Otter, can you believe that Wayne C.'s wife wouldn't make him a sandwich? Mrs. Otter said, why not? Right? What was, what was her reason, she asked. Wayne C., she wants to know what her reason was. See, Mrs. Otter doesn't agree with not making your man a good sandwich. Unless, you were looking after the kids. Unless you were looking after the kids. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Otter's a jokester. <laughs> They're going to test real nukes again, and testing happens prior to the actual use of them. Well... Good luck, everybody. I'm in Canada. There's, um, there's a... <laughs> there's a map that I looked at when I came back home to Canada. Right? Here it is. Here it is. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to go here. Okay, we're going here. We're going here. We're going here. This is a map, okay, where wars have always been fought, okay? <laughs> Mrs. Otter would like this too. This is where wars have been fought, right? I think I showed Mrs. Otter, 
right? So all these wars around the world have been fought, you know, even the War of 1812 in, in America, okay? And look at look at England. Obviously, England's just like, yo, don't fuck, you know, and China. Well, guess what? I live, like, right here somewhere. I live up here. And I don't mind moving up here, okay? I don't mind <laughs> moving up here. And if you guys want to come and build a bunker with me up here, <laughs> we might have to, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be a buzzkill. You're not a buzzkill, man. It's reality right now. It's it's actually um quite scary with what's going on with the world. Um so let's just keep playing with our crypto money and drinking good coffee and being grateful that we came out of a vagina and uh not a third world country right now cuz it's very scary for these people, you know. They're all human and they all deserve to have the luxuries that we do too. Um unfortunate for them. It's unfortunate for them. Cuz we're all human. We're all here for a human experience trying to grow, live, love, learn all those great sayings that are kind of annoying, but yet we're very we're very fortunate. All of us are very fortunate. We have computers, we have internet, we have um lots of things to be grateful for. So let's not Forget that, okay? I'm always grateful. Okay? Did I enjoy your stream? Yeah, I did enjoy your stream, Lunar Beaches Crypto. I only got, this is proof, I only got like a third through it before I started live streaming. See? You can see here, I have watched it seven hours ago. Moonlit Markets. Okay? Okay, right here. Mr. Batman here in the dark here. Lunar Beaches Crypto. Let's let's pump up that Lunar Beaches Crypto live stream at night. But you can see I got through some of it. I got through some of it, you know. Dedicated otter. I mean, givers gain. You got to support support everybody, you know, especially um the new guys coming in, being honest, being good, being kind. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Right? That's what it's all about. If you are a test tube baby, does that make you non human? <laughs> hey, AOC, time to get our sled dogs out and all syrup, the syrup up north. I'm down, man. I'm down. I'm down. I'm not going to get a sled dog, though. I'm definitely going to get a moose, man. I'm going to get a moose. Have you seen the moose that runs on water, guys? There's a moose that runs on water, okay? If you haven't seen the moose that runs on water, well, today's the day, okay? Today's the day, guys, that you guys get to see a moose run on water, okay? It's Moose Jesus, okay? That's Moose Jesus right there, okay? <laughs> We need like <laughs> Blur wanna move. Let's take a look at Blur, my friend. Let's take a look at Blur. <clears throat> wow, we were doing look where we were, we were doing blur TA like in the dinosaur age, man. <laughs> Let's just drag that box o over and that's about all we'll take from there. Wow. Imagine we shorted from up here. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Well, there's your blur TA. It needs to get up to here. <laughs> the moose nose was red, must have been Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Brewberry. How's it going, brother? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. We, we caught the short off the point of control. Hope you're having a great day, man. Happy Friday to every single one of you guys. Okay, so you got a parabolic uptrend here on Blur. Um, you can see very simply. It's coming to some key level of resistance, my friend. Resistance, let's pull over our fib. Very clearly defined volume node there. <clears throat> Nope, I will do gala next. Sorry about that, Poyo. I, I missed um didn't you say it was your like ugly girlfriend or something like that? I'm sorry I missed that. I will look at gala right after this. Right after this, bro. Looking to break out. Okay, let's see on the daily. We're probably overbought. Daily is coming down. Price action is going up. We can see we're getting some support here. Money flow has crossed over into the green, and the VWAP is pointing to the upside. So this is actually quite bullish looking on the daily. We are getting a green dot, and we are making lower lows and higher highs. So this could be a little bit of a divergence, however. So we could be coming up, but then back down. Okay, something like that on the long-term time frames. That's what I see. However, nice support and resistance. Nice flag here. So... We're coming up to the highs of the value area high, so we could be looking for a rejection here, but we are in a very parabolic uptrend, so we could be looking for that push to try and attack these lows, okay? We've seen a lot of alts flip these key levels of resistance to support. We've seen it in ADA. Um, we've seen it, you can see it in ADA, flip to support, flip to support. So what we would like to see for blur is to flip to support, right? In our next level, is big and it's quite a big gap actually of volume here we got seven percent move all the way up to this 28 cents area where we would like to see it flip to support right to continue its way upwards um massive parabolic trend and until this trend really breaks that's when you know if you chop through it retest and then break down then i would i would be be bearish but right now you can see beautiful respect of this trend line and we look for that to continue its way up. We have some key levels of support here, and we look for them to be hold it, held as well. So with Blur, we got some nice volume nodes. But yeah, look for a continuation up here. Um, And there is room like on the short-term time frames as I flip through here. I can see money flows in the green. VWAP's posturing to the upside. Um, very oversold, though, on the stochastic, so be careful there. Um. Higher highs, lower lows on the momentum wave. So something also to be very cautious about. Money flow is is starting to push back upwards, but you can see we are getting very much overbought on the shorter term time frame. So maybe a push up here, one more push up, where we can maybe pull a trend line like this. We look for the pu push up to this key level of resistance. Um, but right now where it is, if we do push up the 7%, we look for a rejection because of how overbought we are. We could do something like that. But going into the weekend, we would li likely see this just continue sideways and hopefully reset the oscillators and get a move come market open. Definitely looking at something like that. Okay. Gala's my girl. You know what? I don't fox with I don't fox with um Gala anymore after Gala slapped me to the curb, man. Gala, <laughs> Gala, Gala slapped me right to the curb, bro. Um, <laughs> if we go into Gala, <laughs> I shorted Gala back here. Wait, I was <laughs> I shorted Gala twice on this pump, okay. <laughs> Here's my confession. <laughs> Short, wrecked. Short, wrecked, okay? I don't fox with, with Gala anymore, okay? Gala, Gala made me its bitch. <laughs> so, oh, man. Okay, Gala, Gala, Gala. Let's go over to Gala. <laughs> you took those shorts and got slapped, too. Oh, man. I got slapped, man. Like, 
so slapped. <laughs> like, it wasn't even funny. Uh, okay, so <laughs> Gala, Gala has gone parabolic, so we need to know that Gala's in the steep down trend. It is breaking out. <laughs> I swear to God, Steve, same story, man. I, I, I've totally given up on Gala after getting absolutely slapped. So we're getting a breakout here. We have key levels, um, key levels of resistance, right? So key levels of resistance. We can pull over our volume nodes, and as we can see with Gala, there is a lot of gaps. Okay, there's a lot of gaps, which means swift move, swift move, swift move, swift move. And they line up, look at this, perfectly with the gaps, okay? With the gaps. So, what does this mean? What does this mean? That you can get wrecked, okay? <laughs> it really means that you can get wrecked, okay? So, for me, if you believe in the, if you believe in the project, great. Dollar cost average. Don't trade this thing, okay? However, if you are looking to trade this, Look where the gaps are. Look to front run the gaps, in my opinion. Okay, so in my opinion, we look where the gaps are. We are at a key level of support down here. All right, 17 cents, key level of support. So maybe this is an area to long. However, there's a gap below you, okay? There's a gap below you. So if you lose this level, you're falling down here. 10%. You're getting wrecked, okay? <laughs> However, if you trade within here and you get up to this key level, maybe this is a breakout trade. Maybe this is something to breakout trade. That's the only other way I could think about trading. We're in this area. You wait for the breakout and you get this, this beautiful move up into this area, okay? We have pumped and retraced. If you're going to long here, you got to be able to, to risk to come all the way back down here. To me, it's risky, man. To me, it's a very risky wreck you, <laughs> wreck you coin, right? So we need to get above here. Um, and we know where the fast moves are. Pull the volume. Mark out where the fast moves are, where they start and stop, right? I do something like this. I, I'd remove these middle lines, okay? I'd, actually, I'd remove these middle lines. And I look to trade between, I look for entries between these areas. So this is a box. I draw a box like this. I draw a box like this. If I had to trade this, I, I would definitely, I, I, would, I would not want to trade this. But <laughs> I would draw these boxes and I'd be like, okay, within these areas, I can look for a trade. But I know if I lose these areas, I'm going to fall. Gal <laughs> I long the gala is my weakness. So you're prepared for your 10% drawdown, okay? Because your next level of support is here. And that is how much? That's 10%, man. <laughs> That's 10%. So... <laughs> I I will pray for you. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> I will pray you for you, my friend. Cause we, we love chicken we love crypto chicken. Um but yeah, these boxes maybe you look for for trades within the boxes so you can at least get some respect. Um just a little bit. Okay, because we're, we're very much oversold here. You can see we're flagging down. Okay, so this naturally says that you want to break out to the downside. Okay, take that measured move. You're gonna, if you lose this, you're done. Okay. <laughs> um, but if you've longed, we pray for you. Hopefully your long looks something like this. <laughs> a 
because you could be some seeing something like this where where it is and there may be a bounce however i could be wrong i could always be wrong so we'll we'll just pray for you and hopefully it works out it works out. <laughs> if there's any other alts, please throw them in the chat. We got market open in 30 seconds, guys. So we're going to go over to Bitcoin. We're going to go into the 30 minute. And we got some news today. Okay, it pushed us up. Some positive news pushed us up to the point of control. The trade setup was given in advance in the Discord 34490. Like that. Came up, touched it perfectly, moved back down. We took the trade this morning on the live. Right when it opened, we got out in profits, bada bing, bada boom, no problemo, okay? We made the money, now we're just relaxing, waiting for price to tell us what it's going to do. Psychologically, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, we've come up, we've gotten everybody bullish, we've liquidated tons of people now, bullish on this price action. We're waiting for a move to the downside, okay? In my opinion, we're waiting for a move to the downside. I think that's inevitable. Um, we have an area around 33,900 that we're looking for, which is a 786. Um, most likely, though, we would like to see it come down to um, this 32, this 328 area. That would be that would be ideal for me. We can see we're kind of doing a BART here. We've gotten the bearish divergence on the long term time frames, which is looking to push us down. Um, we've had a swing failure pattern here and a massive rejection. OK, so right now. I'm being patient. We know the weekend's coming. Um, winter is coming. So we be patient. We let price come to us. We look for divergences. We look for exhaustion. We look for continuations of trends. So we have the downtrend here where <clears throat> we can see that we're kind of breaking out, but we've kind of been rejected as well. So very mixed messages on this breakout. We had news. So this is very much like, oh, pump it and then dump it kind of deal so and get it back to where it was trading at from before okay so just need to be very cautious right now because we know that it's very choppy and then big moves recently so we want to protect ourselves before we wreck ourselves right so market has opened going over to the s&p we we're saying the s&p look bullish af it has opened up quite positive this morning okay we are saying that because the dixie has dumped on our asses <laughs> The Dixie is dumping. Bullish for risk on assets, bullish for the markets. NASDAQ as well, pushing to the upside, creating a lot of gaps on the way up. Okay, a lot of gaps that look to be filled. Um, so we're aware of the, these gaps. We got a gap down here. Now we've made another gap right here. However, very good for the S&P to have a nice relief rally back up. Looking good for the markets here we want to take out this level here which we have so we would like to see this flip to support and then try to change the market structure on this down move okay because we've had a clear down move we would like to see this get above here and then maybe fill the gaps and then continue its way up okay but overall looking good for the other markets dixie's dumping which is bullish for us bitcoin is currently pumping but we know we've had a massive pump so we're bouncing off this point of control maybe we look for a little reversal and then to come down below these levels we're definitely looking for price to come below this trend line here um, because we haven't seen it come below here since monday so we would like to see it at least dip its toes if it is to continue its way upwards and that's kind of my thoughts for today so I hope that's help, helped you guys. Much love to everybody here. Thank you guys for all your support and all your kindness. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Join us in the free Discord. Like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. We're here Monday to Friday, 8.30, bright and early. Helping you guys get profitable, baby. Traders helping traders, man. That's what it's about. Don't give me any advice if you're not trading the charts. So much love to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys.
from the bottom of my heart, okay? And have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Touch some grass. Might make might make some some mindset videos and some trading trading videos this weekend. Get them out to you guys, okay? But thank you guys for your support. I will see you guys Monday for sure, but maybe this weekend, all right? And I will be in the Discord. Much love to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys. God bless, and have a great, great weekend. Peace out.